In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up Azure Single Sign-On (SSO) for your custom app or Doxy organization using the SAML protocol. First, log into the Azure portal using your administrator credentials. Once you're logged in, use the search bar to look for enterprise applications. Click on Enterprise Applications in the results. Under the Manage section, select All Applications. Click on Plus New Application. Choose Plus Create Your Own Application. In the field labeled What's the Name of Your App, type your organization name. Select Integrate any other application you don't find in the Gallery, Non-Gallery, and click Create. Now that the app is created, assign users to it. In the Applications dashboard, go to Users and Groups. Click Plus Add User Slash Group. From the User List, select Mail ID. Under Select a Role, choose User. Click Assign to Save. Next, set up SSO for the app. In the Apps Dashboard, go to Single Sign-On. Choose Set up Single Sign-On with SAML. In the Basic SAML Configuration section, click Edit. Fill in these details. Identifier, Entity ID. Reply URL, ACS URL. Sign-on URL, Optional. Logout URL, Optional. In the Attributes and Claims section, click Plus Add New Claim. Set it up as follows. Name, User underscore Email. Source, Attribute. Source Attribute, User dot Mail. Save your settings. Go to the SAML Certificates section. Download the certificate by clicking Certificate, Base64. Share the following information with your workspace administrator or service provider. Assertion Consumer Service, ACS, as mentioned in Azure. Service Provider Entity ID as mentioned in Azure. SAML Provider Details. Entity ID is the Microsoft Entra identifier in Azure. Sign-on URL as mentioned in Azure. Sign-out URL as mentioned in Azure. Email Domains doxio.onmicrosoft.com, gmail.com, doxy.io. Try logging into your Doxy organization using the SSO URL. Confirm that the user stanley.and.manit at gmail.com can log in successfully. Make sure attributes like user underscore email are being passed correctly. If something isn't working or needs a tweak, revisit the single sign-on section in the Azure portal and adjust the configuration as required. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. Also, remember to ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us.